So here we have a uh, Mitsubishi Lancer ECU. Uh, I believe this one is out of a 1997. Um, so the ignition uh, coil uh, drive is this pin here. This is um, uh, one of the cylinders. Okay, so then uh, we can follow through on this is just a simple double sided board. So we uh, lucked out there. And uh, we can just uh, simply probe from that pin uh, through the entire circuit and it leads up into this IC here and we have a direct continu continuity uh, from that pin over to this IC and if we search that IC um, it leads to a Mitsubishi uh, ignition coil driver IC uh, which uh, appears to be faulty uh, so that's an E310A that um, we need to replace and I've got just got the replacement in today so that's good uh, let's grab my tweezers and get some flux happening here. Um, so it's on the preheater at the moment at uh, 179 degrees. Um, and we'll just um, get a bit of flux onto the board. And just apply a little bit, um, just a bit of gel flux here. Um, the issue is is that this uh, board is conformal, uh, conformal coated as well, um, so I'm not sure how well it's actually going to lift up, but um, we'll find out um, in due course. Okie dokie, now let's uh, fire up the hot air gun and we'll see what happens. We're just going to use a shitload of flux on this because I don't know how well this is actually going to lift. Um, take a note of the orientation, obviously, and we'll just hopefully it'll lift straight up with any luck. Just to my eye on as well. like it's not actually going to lift up that easily. Just apply a different set of tweezers here. There we go. Coolies. So there's our old IC removed. Just uh, pop that over here. You can see the gunk line off it as well so that's uh obvious sign that's been conformal coated well I'll grab a chisel iron for this one plug that into the um, station Just a bit of desolder work here. We'll grab some leaded solder as well. Obviously, being about 1997, this whole entire board's um, leaded anyway, so we're not too worried about um, lead free solder on this board. And um, so we can run it at a much lower temperature. And just clean all that gunk off. up a little bit more okay just grab a um a uh, bit of wipes and 
some uh, IPA through the trunk here. Maybe a bit too hot to on that, it's okay. There we go, it's nice and cleaned up. Let's grab this smaller iron. Actually, we might actually solder paste this instead. Um, grab. Okay. So just got some solder paste here. We'll just see if it solder checks all right. It does. Just gonna run a nice bead of solder paste from here downwards on both sides. Obviously the board's quite hot still so I'm not getting a, a nice speed there but that's okay. Let's grab our suction tool. And we'll just place the um it's probably not gonna actually gonna stick it very well is it? No it's not suction tools a bit uh, worse for wear obviously but that's okay we'll see if it picks it up nah I'm gonna have to use the old iron uh, tweezers for this just uh, estimate the location that's about there Uh, zoom into where the area is. And it will start to reflow. on there actually. Um, just put a little bit of gel flux around this area here and I'll refill that. That's quite good. Right, let that cool down for a little bit. We'll turn the preheater off and check for shorts. Quite uh, solid, yeah, it hasn't quite solidified there yet, but um, yeah, that looks quite good. Successful replacement. <laughs> 